In 2002, Britain was rocked by a murders which happened in Siham, Cambridgeshire, which shocked Britain and the world as to how and why the killer managed to lie to everyone, including the media. And today we're going to be talking about the cases of Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. The phrase taken too soon means that either you are taken too soon or not. But in today's case, we're talking about how that happened. Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Despicable Minds. My name is Cody, and today we'll be looking at the cases of the Soham murders, which rocked Britain and rocked the world as to how and why it happened. <laughs> Jessica Chapman and Holly Wells were born in 1991, a few months apart. They were ten years they were ten years old at the time of the murders, and it sparked many manhunts across Britain, meaning that it became one of the biggest manhunts in British history. At around 11 a.m. on the 4th of August 2002, two schoolgirls, Jessica Chapman and Holly Wells, went missing in. Soham Capeshire. The missing persons report was sparked a many debate over why those two school children would go missing and the whole community of Soham would go looking for them. At around a few days later, Ian Huntley, a child care supporter who this case would not be reviewed until 28 year old Ian Huntley, whose girlfriend was a supporter for those two girls at a primary school and Ian Huntley decided to give many media outlets a interview and say that according to him he did in fact sort the girls before they would vanish into thin air. So what really happened to those two girls? Well apparently Ian Huntley lured the girls into his home and they were either killed by anorexia or strangled to death which is actually effed up because who would do that to kids these days well no one and today we're going to be looking inside the mind of Ian Huntley who decided to take the lives of those two unfortunately schoolgirls. he dared use cleaning products to clean out his car because he put the girls bodies into the car and he dumped them at a US military site in which they use for some reason and they were just dumped outside a little village in which Ian Huntley decided to try to burn them in case of DNA evidence linked all the way back to him so that um, you know he could get he, he thought he would never get caught for this horrendous crime and police suspected that the the murders were a sexual motivated attack on those innocent lives, meaning that, um, you know, they just want to, they want to do it, like Ian Huntley, that scumbag who just, he doesn't deserve to live. Maxine Cole, who's Ian Huntley's girlfriend at the time of the horrendous file murders, um, gave an alibi, meaning that she told them that it, Ian Huntley was elsewhere when they, you know, were murdered, that she was, wasn't in Gisby at the time of the murders, and that Ian Huntley said that, that the, Ian Huntley said that the murders were accident and that the girls suffered nosebleeds and that he accidentally squeezed Holly Wells, which I think that's just a load of nonsense. It's quite shocking that it happened about 20 years ago. Imagine 20 years later, whoa, that'd be 2040. And yeah, just it, it's just scary because you just don't know who you could trust these days. You don't know who you could trust. You don't know what you could do about it. Like, I, I don't know who I could trust these days. You just never know because it's life, it happens and that 28 year old is 14 years old now in Huntley 
which is scary. And um, he was on a sex registered list, well, sex offenders list, because he uh, was accused of rape and sexual assault towards young girls in the mid 1990s and the early 2000s, meaning that he was afraid that he's good, he was going to get charged with the murders, but eventually police you know, came to his home and arrested him on suspicion of adopting the two girls and murdering them, which is absolutely horrific that someone you know could do such a thing, like so vile, so depraved, a depravity that 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 is just absolutely one. Well, unfortunately, the girls' bodies were discovered on the 16th of August 2002, in which their bodies were found, and this and that sparked a and that sparked the community of Soham, which were utterly shocked and frightened of this killer who was on the one. But now he is a he, he was sentenced in 2004 for his horrendous mur murders and he was sentenced to 40 years imprisonment for the two murders in which he said his, he claimed he was insane and that he was quote quote as not able to be on the trial because of what he did and in 2000 and well at least 14 years ago 2007 the Sun newspaper decided to release um, his tape which says that he sorry for what he did and his and he was and he, and he had remorse for it like he said I'm sorry for what I did and what I caused for his girls I wish I'd never done it sort of thing but I think it's just lying at this point because Anyone can make out lies and people believe them. Actually, their parents made a statement saying that if if they were alive right now, they wouldn't have kids. They would have weddings. They would be they'd be in their homes. They would be joined life. But they that that the fact that their kids are now taken away, like slash out the lives of them, it's such a horrific thing, really. Well, that wraps up for our video. Thank you so much for watching Despicable Mind. Hopefully, you click on one of these videos on your screens right now, and I'll see you very soon. Until then, I'm Despicable Mind. Safe.